slide, then craft C2 solutions here. There's this interesting addiction in the business world called Outlook and Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. People are so used to using these tools, they struggle to understand the world without them. It becomes like an addiction. And so what's interesting is I find when I'm talking to businesses about moving to the cloud, they all love the idea and you get a lot of yes, yes, yes around the table, but there's always two questions that come up in opposition to it. And it's the people that are really addicted to Outlook and Microsoft Word and Excel. So the two questions are, can we still use Outlook? And it's this kind of sense of fear, and if we do that, oh, do I have to let go of Outlook? And the other one is, can we still use Word and Excel? Okay, and the simple answer is yes, you can. Google plays very well, extremely well, with Microsoft products. They've actually done a really good job at ensuring they stay compatible and to make the user experience very adaptable. So what's interesting is once I move businesses over to Google, I find there's a common trend of people, people then start to shift away from the Microsoft products and use it once they get over their fear. So, and it's, there's three reasons I see this occur. One of, one of the ones is um, Google. When uh, uh, In Gmail, the search is so powerful that it becomes very easy to find things. So it's interesting, just yesterday I walked into a client's uh, we had migrated them to a law firm. We'd migrated them a month ago. One of the biggest Outlook advocates in the office was very scared about moving away from it. When I walked in, lo and behold, she was using Gmail. <laughs> so I had a laugh and kind of said to her, why are you using it? She said, it's just easier. She goes, it's faster. She goes, I can find things so much faster now. I just do a quick search. She goes, I don't have to file things all the time anymore. Like I said, with Outlook, she used to have to file things to find them. She goes, I can just get in there and search on the email address and the keyword and bang, I've found what I need to. And she said the other reason is because it's faster. She goes, we used to have problems with all our large documents going around being a law firm. Uh, Outlook would freeze up when trying to use it. With Gmail, it just works and we can just get on with our job. She goes, it's just overcome this hurdle we've struggled with or just lived with for the last couple of years. So it's really encouraging to hear them do that. But I see, I see that transition happening all the time. People, once they start using it, Get, get used to Gmail and realize there's big benefits over Outlook. The other thing and why people love it is the, um, the remote accessibility, being able to use it anywhere. So being able to use it in the office and then go home and use it or get on their phone. It was typically Outlook and it's, it's on that PC and if that PC crashes, you've got a problem or you need to take that with you. Uh, you know, you can't move to the next desk if there's extra people come to the office. It doesn't allow that sense, sense of flexibility. With Outlook, you just log into the uh, sorry. With Google, you just log into the browser and you've got it straight away, and so it really allows remote workability. Um, but the other benefit that comes out of it is the sense of collaboration. And people go, I hear people all the time going, oh, I don't need that collaboration stuff. I, we've worked for years in our office with work, mocks of Word, Excel. Why would we need collaboration? So it's quite a, a bit of a throwaway. But what's interesting is I liken it to the microwave oven. People years ago would go, oh, I've cooked for years in my home. I've got a stove. It's no problem. I can cook. Why would I need a microwave oven? Until they started using one. Now, if you look around now, pretty much every home in the world has a microwave oven because you realize there's uses and benefits and a lot more flexibility that comes out of using it. And Google is just like that. And it gives you new ways of working that you didn't have before. And once you use it, it opens your eyes to a new world. So. The collaboration aspect and being able to work on documents all at the same time is really, really handy. But you can still work with Microsoft Documents. So this is the third thing. If you want to work with Microsoft Documents and put them into the Google Drive, you can. But interestingly, people start to shift to using Google Docs and Sheets because it's easy to access in the browser and they can collaborate real time in the file and the other person can do the same thing at the same time. You can't really do that with Microsoft. The other thing that Google have done very well recently is um, file versioning. So if you upload a Microsoft Word document and someone else then opens it and edits it, it'll keep the version control. So Google have done an excellent job at file versioning and, and playing with Microsoft products in their environment and being, um, being collaborative. So the other thing that is quite a major significant factor is Google is agnostic to the device. It doesn't care what device you have. Okay, so people are like, oh, I like my Mac and uh, I want to stick with that. Google will work on all of them. Whereas if you're Microsoft, you have to pray to the Microsoft gods. You, you have one religion and that's Microsoft and everything you do is Microsoft and PC. If you're on a Mac, 
you're on Mac and the iPhone, and the best way to get it is to stay with Mac. Was Google works on all of them. It doesn't care what device you've got. And so for a business, if you, is, is business owner, if you're concerned about your productivity, Google is the way to go because all of your users can use it on whatever device they like. The Chromebook, the Galaxy Tab, the iPhone, the Android, they can have a MacBook Pro, they can have a PC. It, it's, you just need a browser and you can get in there and start working. So for a business owner, maximum flexibility, lowest cost, Google is the, a really simple answer. And people will adjust to using it once they see the benefits. So I hope this has helped you understand the benefits of Google and overcome those two biggest fears of can we use Outlook and can we use Word and Excel? Yes, you can, but you'll also make the transition once you realize uh, you've got some better tools at your disposal and you can be more productive. So I hope that helped answer some of your questions and get over the addiction. For the Outlook addicts in the office, you can still use your Outlook if you move to Google, okay? That makes some great tools to help that occur. If you have any other questions, feel free to call us. We'd love to help you make the transition to the cloud. Look forward to speaking with you soon.